research into genetic diversity of white rhino is uh, one of the important research projects that uh, we support here at Rockwood. Uh, you must remember white rhino came through a, a genetic bottleneck back in the 1800s when there was only about a hundred of them left and all the white rhino we have in the world today came from that hundred rhino. It's important to um, swap genetics out between populations. Uh, we feel it's, it's, it's very important to, uh, to do it properly and that's why we support uh, research on, on genetics of white rhino and we aim to have one of the most uh, genetically diverse populations in the world and contribute uh, to other populations uh, with uh, genetics. One of the research projects that I want to start with is um, looking at the uh, microbiome of the calves. So I want to compare the hand-raised calves microbiome to um, the calves that are getting fed by the mothers. Um, because just like humans, um, rhinos need bacteria to digest. So eventually, if you know what kind of bacteria they are lacking, you can um, possibly make probiotics and add it to the milk so you can improve their health when you hand raise animals. So from start until it's weaned and they drink milk for 18 months, so it would take at least 18 months data collection and you still have to analyze. and. So it can take years before you have actual results of, of a research. The cost for Rockwood to support research projects lies in the fact that we need to, to give the infrastructure, like a lab, and the, the physical support for researchers um, on the ground. It's quite a costly affair, but we gladly do it because it makes a big difference.